friends, my name is Mary Fabs Guillory and I'm the teacher librarian at Dr. Charles Drew Elementary in the Bayview. I'm so excited to be here and to read this book with you today. It's called Little P and it's written by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and illustrated by Jen Corris with the permission of Chronicle Books. This is the story of Little P, Mama P, and Papa P. Little P was a happy little guy. He liked to do a lot of things. He liked rolling down hills, for example, super fast. <laughs> he liked hanging out with his pea pals. Like they're swinging together, playing hopscotch together. That looks like fun. He liked it when Papa P came home at the end of the day. Papa P would fling Little P off his spoon high into the air and Little P would scream, again, again. <laughs> At bedtime, Little P very much liked snuggling with Mama P and hearing stories about what Mama P was like when she was a Little P. But there was one thing Little P did not like. Uh-oh, what do you think it was? Let's see if you're right. Candy. That's what you have to eat for dinner every night when you're a pea. Candy, candy, candy. Is that what you're thinking? That's not what I was thinking. Monday, red candy. Tuesday, orange candy. Wednesday, yellow candy. Thursday, purple and pink polka dotted candy. Friday, striped candy. Saturday, swirly candy. Sunday, rainbow candy. Little P hated all of it. <laughs> He's like, no candy. If you want to grow up to be a big, strong P, you have to eat your candy, Papa P would say. If you don't finish your candy, then you can't have dessert, Mama P would say. How many pieces do I have to eat? Eat five pieces and you can have dessert. Five pieces, he whined. Five pieces, they chimed. <laughs> One. Yuck. Two. Blech. Three. Four. Blech. Five pieces of candy. Now can I have dessert? Yes, now you can have dessert, said Mama P and Papa P. Little P couldn't wait to see what it was. If he had candy for dinner, what do you think his dessert's going to be? Let's see if you're right. Spinach, squealed little P, my favorite. <laughs> little P licked his dessert plate clean. Yum, yum, extra yum. Mm. And they lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you enjoyed that silly story. I know I did. I wonder, what fun stories could you write about food? Maybe you can write one about your favorite food, or maybe you can write a silly one, a silly story about food you don't even like to eat. <laughs> well, happy reading and happy writing.